The painted turtle is probably the turtle that we are all the most familiar with in the Northeast. It's fairly common, and that's part of the reason, but the other reason is that it basks a lot. So it spends a lot of time soaking up sun to bring its body temperature up to a point where it can digest its food, where it can grow, where it can develop its eggs. So its physiological processes are determined by its body temperature, and to bring its body temperature up, it does more basking than most of the other turtles. Female turtles are at risk when they travel overland to find a good place to lay their eggs. And by good place, we mean an area that gets a fair amount of sun, it's not too wet, it's not too dry, and it's fairly easy to dig. So this may be, unfortunately for it, the edge of a roadway, or it may be your garden, or it may be some open grassy area of your lawn. Um, the painted turtle, like its name implies, is brightly colored. It, on the underside of the edge of its carapace, the carapace being the shell on the back, it has bright yellow and red and green and black, a very strong pattern that can be seen from a distance with binoculars if you need them. Um, its head and neck are green with yellow stripes um, and stripes as well uh, on the legs. The base of the neck, however, has red and the base of the legs have red and that red color uh, is going to help you identify this species. The posterior margin or the rear edge of the shell is smooth. The turtle shell, the carapace itself, is not high. It's low, so it's not highly domed. It's low and rounded. Um, and the conservation concerns then are maintaining good nesting habitat within a safe migration distance from the body of water maintaining naturally vegetated margins on bodies of water, and also maintaining adequate basking locations, trees, rocks, shoreline areas, where this turtle can bask as it needs to.